Hi, this is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California. We recently began a series on marriage and the family. And this upcoming Sunday, I will be sharing a study that pertains to Christian husbands. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, the Apostle Peter wrote these words to husbands. Husbands, likewise, dwell with your wives with understanding, giving honor to the wife as the weaker vessel and as being heirs together of the grace of life that your prayers may not be hindered. In this single verse, Peter gives great insight into the role of the believing husband. First, he instructs us to dwell with our wives. The word dwell speaks of living with her in such a way that she knows that we actually enjoy being with her. He's saying that we are to make sure that we know the difference between a house and a home. And when we do understand the difference, it will prevent us from turning our home into a motel, a shop, or our off-site work office. It's our home and is a place where a family lives and where stability and peace exist. Next, he instructs us to dwell with them with understanding, which is a command to actually get to know her, like when we were first dating. We at that time took an active interest into her and her life, and we took time to try to understand what was valuable to her. This would instruct us as husbands to make an effort to know her personal needs and to care about and take a real interest in the entire home's daily affairs because we have a genuine interest in her and the things that matter to her. Taking an interest in her will mean that I will make her the focus of my study and I will not allow any outside interest to take me away from her. Nor will I allow distractions to take me away from my marriage and relationship with my wife. Hobbies, work, and outside activities that eliminate her should be kept to a minimum, and this will actually be a way of securing my home against predators because nature hates a vacuum. And if my wife needs attention, there will always be another man willing to give her the attention she rightly desires. As a Christian husband, I want my wife to be blessed by the Lord, and by my restricting distractions, I can concentrate on developing a good relationship with her. A third thing he instructs husbands is, for them to give honor or assign dignity to their wives. The way that we husbands can do this simply is by the way we speak to her, how we speak of her to others. Assigning honor speaks of verbally lifting up instead of running her down. The way I speak to my wife encourages or diminishes her personal value. And because of this, I as a husband should remember to tell her how much I love her, how beautiful she is, and how, uh, how much I value her. This is right in and of itself, but I am also aware that the things I do not say to her are the things that some other man will say. Peter reminded us that we should recognize she's a weaker vessel. This doesn't speak of inferiority, but of physical differences and highlights the fact that we should treat our wives gently. We're not to verbally or physically uh, bully or abuse her. Instead, we treat her like a lady. We treat her as if she's the most important person in our life. We treat her tenderly, lovingly, we shouldn't throw any past sins in her face. The fact is, she's the greatest of reflection and open expression of my walk with the Lord. She is, in reality, my most important ministry in her life with Jesus reveals what my walk with Him is. In this, I remember how Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 7, that a woman is the glory of the man. The fact is, we are heirs together of the grace of life. She's not less than me, but rather we are equal before God. We are heirs together. We equally share in the need and grace of God. As such, I'm to encourage her walk in the Lord, be the man that she respects. Interestingly, Peter says the result is that our prayer life will not be hindered. This assumes, even commands us to pray with our wives. When we care for and love our wives, our prayer life will be fruitful and our lives will be blessed. She belongs to the Lord. I'm to respect her, walk with him, and remember that she may be my wife, but she is his little girl. As I mentioned, we are having a series on marriage and the family. Join us if you can, and if you can't make the services, join us online at calvaryccv.org on Sunday morning, 8.30 and 10.45 West Coast time. This is Pastor David Rosales of Calvary Chapel of the Chino Valley, California.